then I just figured out I can record my screen. So I thought, well, it'd be cool. Um, I have had so many emails and different things um, from people that do photography or people that, you know, just do it as a hobby for their kids and stuff like that. And um, they have different questions and such. So I thought, well, this would be cool to be able to um, answer some questions and um, be able to record the screen and, you know, do a tutorial at the same time or whatever. So um, I thought the first question I would do for the first video is how do I organize my photography files and the workflow of it? Um, so, you know, how do I, um, what kind of files do I use? You know, how do I keep them all organized and know where, which, you know, stage each thing is in? And that kind of thing. Because let's face it, organizing your files is one of the most important things, but it's not always the easiest. So, I'm not going to lie, like sometimes I have a file that should be in another folder and, you know, I get mixed up or whatever, but it's nothing, you know, major. But, um, you know, it's it's all about the workflow. So, um, so we'll get started. And um, I just wanted to tell you about, you know, I have like different three different files really and um, one is the need to edit file over here and then over here I have the burn to disk and ready to transfer so what I do is whenever I download them from my SD card I put them in the need to edit file so these are my need to edit um, sessions and weddings or whatever and um, so you know I put them in here and then whenever I edit them and get them done then I move them into the burn to disk file, which means I'm re they're done, they're ready to go, then I'm ready to burn the disk for the family um, or whatever. And at that time, I also upload them to the, an online site. So uh, it double backs them up or whatever. Um, and that's actually something I just recently really started doing. So it really has helped since then. But so I put them in the need to edit, I edit them, I bring them over to the burn to disk file. And then once I burn the disk and all that sort of thing, then I move it to the ready to transfer. Um, and then I put them in here. And sometimes I'll do it immediately. And then other times, you know, I'll wait a day or two and then do them all at the same time. And um, then I'll take them out of that ready to transfer file and move them over to my external hard drives. And then move those into the trash folder um, and that sort of thing so that they're not on my desktop all the time. Um, so, I mean, that's pretty much the only way I use my files, like I do that, and that sort of helps keep them organized and that sort of thing, and I actually do that for my family ones too, and I just have them in the family file. I guess I do have an edited, so whenever I post sneak peeks, um, I will put them in here, um, and the ones that are watermarked and stuff like that go in here too, so then I can just pull them out of there whenever I'm done, so... But, well, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helps you kind of organize your form, even if it's just, you know, your family photos and that sort of thing. So, you guys have a great day. Bye.